Hi there, Alakar J here with what is announcing to be the official new playlist for the new Slender Guide. Okay, originally I started out with this series that I've just been making programming and making games in Unity 3D. But I didn't really have the audience, I didn't think many people realised that all this stuff was still slender. What I've been trying to do is develop these scripts slowly with some introduction to hopefully teach people who don't have much previous experience in programming how to start reading code and writing code for themselves. And then in that series I started to cover assets and then a lot of information about creating terrains and how to import the first and third person Unity character controllers. And then I looked at the ambience for the fog, some more information on state engines, and here I started to develop started to develop a better flashlight script. Okay, we see we have a few extra options on there. So as I was mentioning, all the things about making the terrain, building the scene, setting the ambience, all that was in programming and making games in Unity 3D. Now this was our flashlight I was talking about. Okay. So I added a few extra features. We still have the timer before it sets to flicker. But I also have a use flicker option here. So the torch now has the option to fade out slowly instead of flickering. It will fade out. And then I've included another part of functionality where we can choose to use batteries or not. So using this, every time we reset the torch, we consume a battery. So you have to go around and pick up batteries, otherwise you'll have no light. So that was just more I was trying to build on there. We have the flashlights, more information on textures and materials, and there's some really good background information on vector threes, particularly rotations, because they are very confusing. And here is where I started to build a rigid body character controller. It doesn't use the character controller component, it is just a controller that controls the character, and it uses a rigid body. And this deals with all issues like how do I walk across a 3D terrain? Uh, how do I bump into things without walking through them? All that was in this series. Okay. And here's where I noticed that I wasn't getting any views. So I've just branched off and I've built, I've recorded a whole bunch of Slender videos. So this is what's going to be the new playlist. Now this introduction is just to show you that if you start watching and you feel like you're coming in halfway through, that's because you are. This guide started in programming and making games in Unity 3D. So if you're missing anything, I definitely still suggest coming over here. All the train stuff's excellent. And most importantly, assets. That's a really good one there. So we've got assets, we have terrain, the character controller, and the ambience, and then the flashlight videos, and then the NPC controller videos. Okay? So you'll be jumping in here. So if you want to get those previous scripts, because I'm not going to be typing my scripts out, and I'm not going to be displaying them anywhere, the only place you're going to find my scripts is in the videos. Okay, so jump over to programming, making games in Unity 3D. Watch the flashlight and the NPC videos. And then from there on, you'll be ready to continue in this playlist. It's going to be all about the new Slender Guide. Now, as you see, it doesn't look like far, but I'm still uploading as we speak, and I have been recording a whole bunch of Slender videos.
DC, I've just finished off the static. So let's end this introduction in a bit of a teaser. Same as before so far. We have our flashlight. We can walk around. I've still left my papers in one spot so we can pick them up. Tweak some settings so that we get the range of the torch. Hey, and there we go. We can pick up scripts. Ah, pick up scripts. We can pick up scripts from my videos. We can pick up papers, even when we're not directly looking at them, as long as they're on the screen. And then, of course, we brought in a guy that's hey there he is. We brought in a model, and there we have our static screen effect. Okay, that's just as far as I've got now. This is all part of the new guide. Okay.